This Etsy shop has made almost two and a half million dollars with a monthly revenue average of over $60,000 simply selling digital art prints on Etsy. This is one of their recent bestsellers, which has already sold over 50 times today alone. So just this listing has already made $175 in revenue. And this shop has over 1000 listings. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to leverage AI tools so that you can create similar artwork that you can sell on Etsy and other platforms. I also will be doing an AI art giveaway today. More on that later. Next, I'm going to head to ChatGPT where I'm going to create the prompts for my art. And I typed in the following prompt, create prompts for an AI image generator of a winter pine forest Christmas oil and canvas painting. So I included some of the keywords that this shop is ranking for. Then send message. And then ChatGPT has generated a list of prompts that we can use for our art. I'm going to go ahead and choose one to copy. And then I'm going to head to Midjourney, which is an AI image generator. And then I'm going to paste in that prompt. And then in the chat box, I'm going to go to forward slash imagine and then paste in that prompt I copied from ChatGPT. And I have to say I'm really happy with the quality of this artwork that was created, but I do want to change the aspect ratio so that it is landscape instead of a square shape. Here's a reference chart for you for aspect ratio in mid journey. I would like to do mine three by two here. So I'm going to redo that prompt by going to imagine forward slash imagine copying in that prompt and I'm going to go at the very end dash dash a r three by two or three semicolon two and then this will make it a landscape portrait and here are some of the images that i was able to create using that prompt and then once i find one that i like i can select upscale to upscale that photo as you can see here and then i can choose to further upscale it by two times or four times which i recommend doing because you want this to be a higher resolution photo if you're going to choose to offer your artwork in really large sizes, I do recommend upscaling it even further, which you can do for free in Pixel Cut. And then once Midjourney has upscaled your photo, you just select the photo and then open in browser, right click, save image as, and then you can save that image to your device. Next, we're going to head to Kittle. This is a design website that I really like to use and I'll show you the reason why as soon as I open up a canvas. I'm going to select new project. I'm going to make sure that this is set in inches. And for this example, I'll be doing a 10 by eight image. And this is the reason why I really like to use Kittle over some other design softwares is because you can change the DPI to 300. This is a request I get often from my digital um, buyers is whether or not an image is in 300 DPI. This, so this is an easy way to offer images in 300 DPI for your customers. Then select create. And then you can upload that image that you downloaded from Midjourney earlier. And then you just stretch it to fit the canvas. And then you might want to mention to the customers, if you'll be offering this in various sizes in the description, that the image is going to vary by size slightly. Because if you're offering this in a slightly larger or smaller size, it's going to kind of change the ratio of, of what fits into the picture. And then once you're happy with your image, you can rename your project here. And then you can export your work. Download design. I do like to optimize the quality before I download and then download this as a JPEG. Some customers really like having PDFs if you're selling this as a digital download. Next, I'm ready to throw that image on a mock-up. Once I have my image up, I can go ahead and stretch this to fit into the canvas. Now you may notice that this is sitting on top of the canvas, which doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing or realistic. So I'm going to take this illustration that's sitting on top and drag it under the frame so that it looks a little bit more realistic. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. This looks very realistic to me. And by the way, I do have mock-up templates like this available in my own mock-up shop, which I will throw in the description box below. And now you're ready to list this as a digital download on Etsy. And if you would like me to do a complete full tutorial on how to do that, comment digital download below. You can also sell this type of art as wall art on Etsy, which according to E-Rank is a currently the 10th highest keyword search term on Etsy in the last 30 days. And to automate this process so that you don't have to print or ship anything yourself, you can utilize Printify, which is a print and demand platform that I personally use that can integrate into your Etsy shop or various other e-commerce websites. After you've created your free account with Printify, you can go to catalog and under home and living, you can select either canvas prints or poster prints. For this example, we'll be doing poster prints and then select the matte horizontal poster and start designing. Then I can upload that image from Kittle and don't forget to go into um, the sizes to select the sizes that you want because it auto selects a really large size. So when you upload your image, it might show low resolution, but just go in and change the size as fits to your size of your image. So when you upload your image, if it says low resolution, just make sure you've selected the size that you've created in Kittle. And then you can move around your image as needed to make sure it fits into the box. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. 
it's a pretty close fit. I just want to make sure there aren't any white edges. And make sure that it always says high resolution. And then you could go in and add other sizes if you wanted to, and then save product, and then you could publish this to your Etsy shop. And then when a customer's order comes in, Printify will print and ship the item for you. All right, here are the details on the giveaway. I will be giving away this image that I created today in Midjourney, along with a free mock-up. And it will be in four different sizes, so you are all set and ready to go to list this as digital art or to sell with print and demand. To enter the giveaway, simply like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks so much for staying with me until the end. Up next is a video about Etsy and AI you may want to check out. See you guys there.